Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a print and cut candy box in Cricut Design Space. And for this project, we're going to need printable cardstock paper, 8.5 by 11, and the color of your choice, or glossy photo paper. And to assemble these boxes, we're going to need hot glue. We can print this pattern with a color inject or laser printer. And if you don't have a printer, don't worry. You can print it at a printing company such as UPS or Kinkos, and then come back and cut it at home with your Cricut Explorer or Maker Machine. And we're going to start with the process. First, we're going to insert a free pattern from Cricut Access. Let's type box, we go to filter and select free. And here you will find all the available free box patterns. I'm going to select the red one and insert it to the canvas. Since we're going to be working with print and cut, we're going to change the width. It's going to be 9.25. It cannot be bigger than 925 by 6.75. I'm going to select the pattern and press detach. And I'm going to put the scoring lines aside while we work with the design. I'm going to select again and change the color. I'm going to be working with a white background. But if you would like to insert a pattern, let me show you really quick how you can insert a pattern here in Cricut Design Space. You select Fill, you go to Printing, and select Pattern. And here you'll see all the available patterns that Cricut Design Space offers. You select and insert and then you can modify it also if you would like the design a little bigger or a smaller. Just go back to edit pattern and it will give you the option to edit it to the size that you need. But like I mentioned before, I'm going to be working with a white background and insert the images that I have already downloaded from Google or Pinterest. I'm going to duplicate this pattern because later I'm going to show you how you can print and cut a bigger box. Let's select Upload and pick the images that we are going to insert in this pattern. I'm going to show you really quick how you can download images for free from Google or Pinterest so you can use them in Cricut Design Space. Just type the, the name of the image you're searching for and type PNG HD so you can have a good high quality image. Just click right and select save image and you can save it in a folder that is easy for you to access. Most of these free images are for personal use. And if you would like to sell this product, I recommend you to buy images either from Cricut Design Space or any online company that sells beautiful images. Let's go back to Cricut Design Space and continue with our pattern. Let's select these two images and insert it to the canvas. Since this image is in one piece and I need a square, I'm going to insert a square and slice it. Select the layers that we're not going to need and erase them. Now that I already have two pieces, I'm going to start placing these flowers onto the pattern, onto the box. And let's resize it if it's too big. Move the pattern aside and then select the flower design and group it and duplicate it so we can use it on the other side of the box. I'm just giving you an idea but you can place any design of your choice.
I'm going to duplicate the flower design and ungroup so I can keep on putting flowers on my box. I'm going to select this one and flip it. And we're going to do the same process on the other side. I'm going to insert the details. In this case, I'm designing a baby shower candy box. But believe me, these beautiful candy boxes are perfect for wedding or any other occasion. Let's group it so it doesn't move and let's place it in the center of the box. Also, you can change it to any color you need. And like I mentioned before, this is just an idea. You can add your own images and all the details that you need in this candy box. Now that I am done with the design, I'm going to select all these layers and press flatten. I'm going to insert a square, make it bigger and place it under this pattern so I can align all the scoring lines. Let's select the scoring lines and let's place them on top of the pattern. Now that the scoring lines are aligned on top of the pattern, we're going to select those two layers and select Attach. And we already have our first candy box pattern ready to print and cut. This is the mini candy box, but next I'm going to show you how you can print and cut a bigger box. Before we continue, we're going to remove the scoring lines and duplicate this pattern. Let's insert a square, press the lock, make it bigger, and cover half of the pattern. Select and slice. Erase all the layers that you don't need then go to Couture and hide the pieces that you are not going to need in this half of the pattern. Now let's bring the other copy. We can insert a square or a circle. So we can erase the other half. Still have a little piece left. I'm going to insert a square and slice it. On this half, I'm going to insert a tab. Let's make sure it's the same size as the other one on the other half. Now select those layers and press Weld. Now I'm going to place the scoring lines, the ones that we already have are not going to work for this one because they are only on one piece. So we're going to do it one by one. I'm going to move the patterns and attach the scoring lines so they don't move. 
Now, to be able to print and cut this pattern, we're going to resize it to the right size. First, we're going to put it together. Don't attach it or well, just put it together. And the size for this pattern is going to be 12.787 by 8.15. This is the size so you can be able to print and cut. Remember, it's 12.787 by 8.15. And if you would like to save some time, I invite you to visit my Facebook page where you can find this pattern already modified to this size. We're going to continue with our first pattern Let's erase the gray background, select, and let's go to print. And let's make sure this pattern is the right size. If it moved a little bit, let's change it to, remember, no bigger than 9.25. Let's make it. Continue, send to printer. Select your printer if you have a printer, and if you don't, select Microsoft Print to PDF. Save it on your computer, and now you can send it to print to a printing company, like UPS or Kinkos, and then you come back and cut it at home with your Cricut Explorer or Maker. If you wish, you can leave the bleed on. In this case, I'm gonna turn it off and continue with the print. Now, let's select the material that we're going to cut. In my case, I'm going to cut photo paper. I'm going to go select all materials and look for photo paper and select. And if you have Explore Air 1 or 2, select a Scoring Stylus for the scoring lines. But if you have the maker, you either can select a scoring stylus or the scoring wheel. I like to use the scoring stylus on my maker because it's easier. I don't have to be changing blades. But in this case, I'm going to use the scoring wheel because I'm cutting photo paper and I don't want it to damage while making the scoring lines. Before cutting, let's make sure the paper or cardstock is well aligned on the cutting mat. Like I mentioned before, if you are using your Cricut Explore Air 1 or 2, you can use the scoring stylus for the scoring lines. But if you are using your maker, you can choose either the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel. And if you're using the scoring wheel on your maker, we're going to insert that one before. And this sign space is gonna indicate when we need to switch the blades. And here we have the beautiful patterns already cut, ready to assemble the boxes.
This first one was printed with photo paper and this second one with cardstock. You can see the difference between the two of them. Now you already know how to make candy boxes using the print and cut option from Krika Design Space. You can find this free pattern on Krika Design Space, but if you wish, you can also visit me on Facebook and you can find it there for free already modified. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.